Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, seems like we're between the fun. <laughs> we're the last thing before the fun. So uh, thanks for, for sticking with us through the program. Um, we're going to do a quick introduction, and then we'll get into the, the content of the 2019 report. So as Monica said, I, my name is James Wallace. Um, I had the privilege of joining Ripple this year in July. Uh, previously, I've had uh, over 20 years experience in payments, uh, transaction banking, and was also a co-founder of the blockchain movement at IBM. So uh, this is you know, a real privilege to be part of the Ripple team now. Um, and uh, I'd like to, Alenka, maybe a quick introduction and then you can sort of tee up the, the topic of the day. Sure, sure. So as you know, I'm Alenka Graylish and I've split my career between consulting. I was with the Boston Consulting Group for 20 years um, and prior to leaving, I was global segment manager for payments. So that's one of the reasons that you, I find myself here. And recently, I rejoined Salent, where I cover corporate banking trends, but payments are always part of my purview because I have a passion for that. Uh, officially, I'm a senior analyst at Salent. Unofficially, I consider myself a per per perpetual student of emerging tech, so I have a, a strong affinity for um, blockchain and digital assets. Yeah, and uh, in fact, Alenka and I have worked together in the past, and uh, when we got this opportunity to, to present today, it was a great treat. So why don't you go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about the report and who we surveyed, and uh, we can get into sure, it. Sure, sure. Um, so I, I think this, this presentation is a great way to top off the last uh, couple of days here because we've seen a lot of examples of blockchain in action um, in a variety of presentations here. And now we kind of roll up to the macro level, the aggregate. And the objective of this annual survey, and this is the second annual survey, is to gauge, track the pace of adoption and look at the different stages of adoption from nothing to conversations, to pilots, to near implementation, to production. And um, we're very excited to share our findings, if you haven't already taken a preview here. OK, so let's take a look at the, the demographics then. Why don't you take us through that, Alenka? Um, so to assure we had an, a representative sample, um, our goal was to get a good representation of the addressable market for blockchain and payments. And you see this uh, addressable market on the slide here with the majority of respondents being in Asia, about 41%. We also wanted to make sure we had senior level people who were familiar with new payment initiatives. So we surveyed senior people at companies that offered some type of payment related um, service. Okay, so comprehensive li lists of people spoken to all around the world. So yeah, what, what were the key findings, the other sort of headlines that you... Um, um, I, I think the headline was that we're crossing the chasm of adoption. So you may have heard of, of the concept of the chasm. You have a bell curve representing adoption and you have innovators on the far left. Then you have early adopters, early majority late majority and laggards. And the toughest point of any new technology is going from the early adopter to the early majority. And this year we saw...